Hey guys, in today's video we're going to take a look at two methods for adding integers. The first method that we'll look at will be using integer tiles or integer chips, and the second method will be using a number line. And then at the end we'll look at the patterns we see to see if we can have some shortcuts. Alright, the first method we're going to take a look at is adding using integer tiles. Alright, the instructions for it are over here. It tells you to first build the first number. So the first number I see here is a negative 8. So I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it tells me to add the second number to it. Well, my second number is 2, so it's a positive 2. So I'm going to add two positives. Then it tells me over here to remove or circle my zero pairs. Well, a zero pair is when you have a positive and a negative because they cancel each other out and make zero. So there's a zero and there's a zero, and I just count up what's left to see what my answer is. One, two, three, four, five, six, but I notice that they're negatives, so my answer is negative six. All right, let's look at another integer tile model. So we have negative four plus negative three. I'm gonna draw out four negatives. And I'm going to draw three p negatives, because that's the second number I'm adding. All right, I have to look and see if I have any zeros that I can match up. I don't, because a negative and a negative don't make a zero. So I just count up what's left, and I see that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But again, they're negatives, so my answer here is negative seven. Let's take a look at one final example with tiles. So I build my first number, 10. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then it tells me that I'm adding four negatives. I like to kind of write them below because it'll help me when I make my zero pairs. So I added four negatives, make zero pairs, cancel those out. Every time I see a positive and a negative, I know that that cancels out. And then again, I count up what's left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And this time they're positives. So we end with an answer of positive 6. Another method you'll have to be familiar with when adding integers is a number line. Um, so if we wanted to add the same problem that we started with, negative 8 plus 2, I'm going to start at the first number. So what that means is I'm going to put a dot at negative 8. Okay, and then it says, and this is important here, move to the left if you're adding a negative, or you go to the right if you're adding a positive, and you go as many jumps or as many numbers as it tells you to. So I see up here that I'm adding two, and this is a positive, so I'm going to the right, two spaces, and wherever I end up is my answer, and in this case, it's negative six. Let's see it with another one. All right, negative four plus negative three. I start at negative four, and now this time I'm adding three negatives, and so it tells me I move left if I'm adding negatives. So I'm going to go back three. One, two, three, and where I end up is going to be my answer. So negative four plus negative three is negative seven. And one final one on the number line here. We have 10 plus negative four. Again, I start at that first number, and now I'm adding a negative. So since it's negative, I'm moving left. And I'm going back four. One, two, three, four. And my answer here is six. Sometimes you'll see that you have more than two numbers to add, like in this problem. Negative five plus negative three plus two. I'm going to show it with both methods. First, with chips, integer tiles, um, I'm going to show negative five. So I build five negatives, and then I'm adding negative three to that. So I'm just going to go one, two, three more negatives, and then I'm adding two, and those are positives. So I'm gonna, I like to put them below. Again, you don't have to, but it really helps you with grouping when you find your negatives uh, to make zero pairs. So I cancel out my zero pairs, and then I count up what's left. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, those are negatives that are left, so I have to make sure that I put a negative in front of my answer. And to model that same thing with the number line, you start at your beginning number, so that's negative five, and then I'm going to move three to the left, because it says plus negative three, okay, but I'm not done yet. I'll grab another color here. Um, and then I'm gonna move two to the right, because it says plus two. So I ended here, I'm gonna go back two to the right, and I ended at negative 
six. So you can do multiple jumps on a number line um, just like you could if there were just two numbers. And here's one more like that. So you have negative two plus four plus negative one. So with tiles I do two negatives, four positives, and plus one negative. Cancel out my zero pairs and I see that I have one positive remaining right here. So my answer is just one. Or you may have put plus one, either way works. And then using the number line, I'm starting at negative two. And now I'm adding four, so I'm going four to the right. One, two, three, four. And then I'm adding a negative one, so I have to go back one. And I end up, again, at one. So either way, we get the same answer. You can pick which method you like more. All right, so let's sum this up here. When we are adding integers, and remember, this only works for addition, if we're adding a positive plus a positive, like 3 plus 4, we're going to end up with a positive answer. If we add a negative plus a negative, like negative 3 plus negative 4, we end up with a negative answer every time. When we have a negative and a positive added together, the only way that we're really going to be able to tell the sign is by looking at which one we have more of. So if you look at, let's do negative 3 plus 4, or if we have negative 4 plus 3. Can you tell by looking which one will be positive and which one will be negative? Well, if I picture my tiles drawn out here on this first example, I, I can see that I'm going to have more positives than negative. So my answer here is going to be a positive, and it's 1. Now on the bottom example, negative 4 plus 3, I'm going to have more negatives than positives. So it's going to be an answer of negative 1. And so when you're adding two different signs, uh, you can tell if it's going to end with positive or a negative based on whichever one you have more of. And we'll talk about that more in class. All right, let me know if you have questions on this. Uh, thanks for watching.